Tim Ralston with Ralston Family Farms in Atkins, Arkansas, grows a number of crops in the Arkansas River Valley. Well, we farm just a little over 5,500 acres. Uh, we're in the Arkansas River Valley, which is kind of in the west central side of Arkansas. We primarily grow rice, but uh, we've also grow soybeans, wheat, uh, we've got a cattle operation, and uh, we use a lot of those products in, in our cattle operation as well as on our rice, we're vertically integrated, and uh, we've got a, a rice brand, Ralston Family Farms, that uh, we put on the shelf. We've been blessed to get it in about 8,000 grocery stores across the United States. Also sell it into restaurant service and grow, grow several different varieties of rice, about six different varieties. They're committed to regenerative farming in every aspect of the operation, but it's not an overnight process. We're on a journey to become 100% regenerative. We're well underway with that. And a lot of these practices are common uh, that we're doing. We've been no-tilling for a long time, strictly a no-till operation at this point. Planted a lot of cover crops, which is a key component also of regenerative, and done some crop rotation, also a key component. The big deal with uh, regenerative is to, to build the soil. Best way to do that is let my mother nature take over, kind of get out of her way. So by planting these cover crops and using no-till, we're able to help stimulate that microbial activity and really get the Mother Nature's engine running using those cover crops as kind of a mulch in the spring when we plant as we're planting directly into those cover crops. It helps us reduce our dependence on synthetic chemicals and fertilize and at the end of the day that's where we're wanting to head. With all the extra effort, Ralston is often asked why he feels so strongly about regenerative agriculture. We think it's the right thing to do. You know, that's the answer everybody's going to give you. But also, you know, from a financial standpoint and a farming operation, you can start cutting these costs, you know, it, it increases the bottom line. And, you know, that's not what it's all about with us. And it's usually not what it's about with most farmers or they wouldn't be farming. But it is important. You know, so, so we're already starting to see some of those financial benefits from reducing input costs. Cover crops are an integral component of the regenerative process, and Ralston presently plants a five-way mix of cover crops. This past year was our first year to really dive into a, a variety of cover crops. We've dabbled with them for several years, but you know, one thing about the cover crops that we're learning is just a cover crop is not necessarily as beneficial as planting the right cover crop before the right crop and knowing kind of what the end game is for that cover crop. So this year we've really uh, broadened our, our varieties of what we're planted out. So we planted a lot of cereal rye, black oats, uh, winter peas, radishes, clover. That's kind of our primary mix and of course we plant those all together and it's our goal to increase that, you know, that's a that's what a five-way mix, and it's our goal to increase that to potentially as much as a 10-way ten, ten mix on this coming cover crop. So this coming fall, we'll plant every acre in cover crops. Our intent's to, uh, you know, stay right behind the combine and plant every acre. Ralston Family Farms just received a Tier 2 certification to be a complete regenified operation, including both the farm and the rice mill. Ralston himself is very committed to the entire regenerative process and has already seen the benefits. It all ties together. You know, it's, it, I, I prefer to think of it as a system because any one of these things that you do, whether it's no-tilling or cover crops or crop rotation or the solar system or utilizing 100% of what comes in the mill, you know, all of that's good stuff. But if you link it all together as a system, one builds after the other. And, uh, you know, I think, I think you come here 10 years from now, we're proud of the way it looks now, but I think you come back in 10 years, uh, you know, we'll have a lot to show for our efforts. Be sure to watch part two on Ralston Farms' innovative and industry-leading zero-waste rice mill.